It's the one and only Nigel Clark. Hey, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here on this interview. And today I'm going to be interviewing Nigel about the three steps to how to become a presenter. And I know that you've got a lot of experience in doing presenting. Because the first time I met you was you were presenting for Kim Tropolis. Can you explain how that uh, Kitropolis was really, really fun. I mean, I've done, I've done three Kitropolis now, uh, and it's always great to see how the kids get so excited uh, with all the activities we have there and all the things they have to do. Uh, and, and I really just love interacting with the, with the public in that way. Of course. And also, I did a Kitropolis vlog, so if you haven't watched that, I'll put it in the description down below. But what is the I'm going to watch that. <laughs> but what is the first step that you would say to people who want to become presenters? Um, the first step I would say is to film yourself at home uh, and, and watch it back. Look at it, give yourself what we call notes, like small criticisms that make you better. It's, it's a note section, it, it's, 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 it's a, the best way to make yourself better. So I think before going out there and trying to apply for jobs or to start a YouTube channel, just film some bits at home on your own and, uh, and, and watch them back yourself and get comfortable with it because so, so, you know when you listen to your voice for the first time sometimes people don't like it yeah. you've got to get used to that first i think that'd be the first step brilliant and what do you think the Okay, then the, the next step, once you're comfortable, I would say, is to maybe start experimenting with your own little social media channel, whether it is a YouTube thing or, a, or an Instagram thing, whatever it is. Start experimenting with that and finding what you think your niche is. Because uh, what people like is when, let's say, you're into food, you concentrate on food stuff. Or if you're into fitness, you concentrate on your fitness stuff. So it's kind of about having a little bit of an experiment and see what you like to present and what you like to do. And, and having a little try on social media. Amazing. And what is the third thing that you did that literally just made you so visible now? And like, got you all the presenting things that you do now to this very day. Um, well, I think the presenting industry has changed loads over the last, uh, what, I've been in it 20 years nearly. So when I first started, I just went to an audition and you audition for your, for your job. But nowadays it's, it's not just about that. Nowadays it's about building up a foundation on social media uh, and when you start getting that foundation people start to come to you more because because you're there exhibiting what you do and if someone says okay i need someone that does that oh i saw someone on whatever it is and then they come to you with it so it's, it's changed a lot i think social media is a massive part of it on top of that then it's just going out there and asking people do you need a little help with this do you need a little help with that Amazing. And usually on the interviews that I do with people, I tell them like one certain thing that that they can finish the video and just do a video for you. So obviously we know that because they're probably a very hard industry to make it into. So what's the main like inspiration or piece of wisdom that you give to the inspirators there who are watching this video to help them keep on going during their video? Okay, I would say that um, don't give up. It's a long road. Uh, if it ever gets you down, just take a step back, take a breather, the next day will be fine and just keep going at it. If you keep going at it, at some point it will work. Okay, you'll, you'll just keep getting better and one day you'll definitely get there, just don't give up. Thank you so much for being on this interview and also no don't forget to like this video if you really enjoyed listening to Nigel <laughs> and also don't forget to like this video too if you want to see more interviews with awesome amazing people and without further ado I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!